Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan and I am owner and operator of In Progress Counseling. Today we're going to invite in a practical understanding about change. Often people will come uh, to therapy or they will talk about what they are stepping away from. I don't wanna do that anymore. I don't like that anymore. I'm changing away from this. I'm giving this up. But if we don't take time to develop what are we walking towards, what's going to be the payoff, but also what's the pathway to get to that payoff, what we end up doing often is creating a negative void or negative space. And negative space not only can be highly distressing, it actually can be the root of some really bad behavior. So in the most simplistic of analogies, I have a client who is wanting to give up smoking. And so we talk through, well, what's the plan? Well, I'm just going to give it up okay, but you've had this kind of uh, hand to face, just response and reaction for the last years that has led to self-soothing. What do you want to do when that urge shows up? And we know that they're walking towards, you know, not being dependent on a vice, but it's like, if you don't choose how to replace that, your, uh, your uh, impulsivity, your compulsivity might choose for you how to replace that. When we go into the literature of people who give up smoking, often there's a replacement habit that shows up and it's something that can also lead to fundamental unhealth. So we have to ask, what is the plan there? We know what you're stepping away from, but what are you walking towards and what's the plan to get there? So I use this analogy with my client. I said, hey, let's say next Monday, I decide I'm done being a clinician. And so my seven, eight, nine hours a day of clinical work Monday through Thursday, I've now created a void of 36 hours a week. What am I going to do? So I wake up on Monday and there's just this vacancy in my day. And for a day or two, that might feel good. But in general, I'm probably going to tailspin because I've created negative space and there isn't structure or a plan or some sort of pathway that I'm on towards something. And that really is a problem often for us. Now, I want to be clear, not everyone has to have a plan for everything, but many of us have to take radical inventory of who are we when we don't know the plan, how might we tailspin, what distress might we experience, and we have to think through, okay, what are the next steps that I want to be taking, and specifically, what am I walking towards? Think of the analogy of someone getting fired from their job against their volition, and they don't have a plan. That is jostling and overwhelming specifically because they're not yet um, aware of what the next step is because this is all brand new. Someone who is going through a really big life pivot that was against their will, let's say a divorce or a death, they don't know what they're walking towards yet and they spin and it is really treacherous terrain to be in. And it makes sense because whatever the, um, the reality is that we were living out, it's no longer available to us and we don't yet know what direction we're going. And so there's this just immobilization that can often happen. And so that's not to say that we can uh, manage everything and we can manage distress and we can always have a plan. What it's saying is if you do wanna give something up, if you do want to overhaul a piece of your life or you do want to invite in change, you do want to take some time to develop what are my steps to get there. But also it starts with what direction am I going? When I'm giving something up, what am I walking towards? And I have to say that to clients often when they're sitting here saying, hey, I, I can't move, I'm immobilized. It's like, right, because we know what you ran from. We don't yet know what you're walking towards. And as long as that's your reality, you're kind of aimless and wandering and really uncomfortable. And so we typically have to pick something in the moment to orient ourselves towards, or there might be this perpetual spin cycle, this immobilization, this agitation that goes on. Those are just some things to consider. What are you wanting to give up? But even more importantly, what are you walking towards and how do you plan on getting there? Those are pretty paramount questions. They don't apply in all situations. They do apply in many, and it's something we should heavily be considering.